I want to go to the cross-examination. It's your testimony today that you were frightened of the police, yes. When you were talking to the police about how you and Cammy had sex five days a week, were you terrified of the police? No. When you were talking to the police about not having any flavored lubricants in the house, were you terrified? No. When you talked to the police about the fact that the child loved you, were you terrified? No. When you talked to the police about the type of drinks you like to have, were you terrified? No. When you talked to the police about all the alone time you spent with a child, were you terrified? No. You told the police that the child did this to you, correct? I don't recall. Well, let me refresh your memory. They pull out Stakes Exhibit number 14 and played for the court and the jury. And he says, well, I, then yes, I did. That was you telling the police that it was the child's choice to do this. He's not saying he didn't do it. He said it was the child's choice to do it. He says, yes. Just like you told the police it was the child's choice to play with your private part like a joystick, correct? Yes. And you, quote, let her play with it, correct? I believe so. Do you need me to remind you of that? No. This just goes on and on. He's not denying it took place. He is saying she started it. She wanted it. He's saying it happened, but it was her choice. Had you heard this before? No. This is the trial transcript. This is what he testified to in trial. Were you aware of that? No. He's not saying it didn't happen. He's saying that she started it, so therefore there's no crime because she initiated the contact. How old was she at this time? Eight. He's saying the eight-year-old child started this, so it's okay. He's not denying it. He's saying, yes, it happened, but she wanted it. Why she acted like it was a big deal? Yeah, because you didn't force her, right? No, I didn't. It was something she wanted, yes. And you didn't understand why it was a big deal. You didn't harm her, right? Yeah. You didn't physically force her, right? No. In fact, you told the police the truth makes you look bad, right? Correct. Yes. Because the truth makes you look bad, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So you weren't lying to the officers, were you? I was telling them what they asked. And you told them the truth made you look bad. Yes. The truth makes him look bad. And he says he loves her, but here's what he wrote from prison. He described her as a devil child, lying, fat-mouthed, hate, daughter, bitch. That's how he described her to you in letters, correct? Yes. Did you feel the police were wanting you to say these things? Yes. Are the things you told the police true? No. Did you feel that you would be allowed to go home if you told the police these things? Yes. That was at the end of the examination. How do you feel about this cross-examination in trial? He never said it didn't happen. He said she initiated it, and therefore, no harm, no foul. I'm not really sure how you feel about it. It's the first time I've heard any of that. Same with me. That's who you sent her home to. I understand. I understand that completely. <laughs>